a high current discharger for their um, 2S uh, LiPo. Um, they're talking about up to 40 amps, but uh, to make it quickly, um, I can make a, a 20 amp one with these resistors here. Um, they're 0 0.68 ohms each. Put two in parallel like this, gives you 0 0.34 ohms. Uh, running a 2S LiPo, which is nominal 7.4 volts, using Ohm's law, 7.4 divided by 0.34 gives you 22 amps. That would generate quite enough heat, but I have this um, old aluminium box which I can screw them in. Now, for safety reasons, you don't want to discharge a 2S LiPo below 6 volts, or it'll swell up or be ruined. Um, you could put uh, some sort of electronic switch, I'm not going to do that to take too much time. In the past we used to use relays that dropped out, you could find one that was um, would drop out at the right voltage or add some diodes or whatever. And so when you put 7.4 volt on the relay it would operate and as, when it got down to 6 it would drop out. A bit crude but it did work. Also, you can put a, a buzzer alarm. You can buy them very cheap on eBay and set it to 6 volts so it buzzes away. Um, anyway, I'm going to put a voltmeter. You can, you can buy voltmeters very cheap on eBay. It's a nice big display. Make sure it it read 7 point whatever, not just go to only 4 volts, as some of them do. And uh, I can put stick that on the top. Wire this up with some heavy duty wires and the plugs to go in there. Um, put a fan in it. So I'll cut a hole in the side, uh, put a fan guard on, make a hole in the other side and blow some air through because it will get hot. To make a 40 amp one, you'd need a much bigger box and more heat sinking, and it becomes uh, more um, risk risky that something will go wrong, and you would need to make sure you have a uh, a quick release switch or but anyway for a quick uh, deal I'll make this one up and see how it goes the reason for discharging batteries quickly well at, at some big meetings um, you want to discharge and charge your battery from zero it uh, uh, may give you a little bit uh, more performance but the main reason is to try and heat the battery up or lipos give more power when they're running warm uh, anywhere between uh, 20 up to 40, 50 degrees C. Above 65 degrees C you'll probably find your lipo will swell up and be ruined so you don't want to heat them too much. But when the ambient temperature is cold, a lipo, in fact any battery, uh, your car battery, anything, becomes very sluggish in cold temperatures and heating them up and they will deliver a lot more power. So discharging uh, will heat a battery from the inside, which is much better than, say, wrapping the battery up with a heater and heating it from the outside, which doesn't work very well, and that can give hot spots and can uh, cause your battery to swell up. And um, anyway, discharging it, uh, it will heat naturally from the inside. I've finished putting all the parts into the box, but um, I was a bit optimistic uh, thinking I can get away with um, the small box because the heat dissipation is pretty high. I put in um, two fans, one pull in and one push in, uh, high performance fans, uh, put a voltmeter on the top and uh, fit the resistors into the aluminium box using heat sink compound. But um, they get pretty hot. Um, just a, a few figures I miscalculated on the wattage um, I said I was going to use uh, 2.68 resistors, giving you 0.34. It uh, draws about 22 amps from a nominal 7.4 volts using Ohm's law. And uh, the dissipation is in watts is volts times amps, so 7.4 times 22, 163 watts. Um, <laughs> I don't know where I uh, thought uh, went wrong, but uh, these are only 50 watts each. So they're going to get pretty overloaded and um, with that sort of dissipation. Also, I did a calculation to show the time. If you had a 6,000 milliamp hour battery, which is a 6 amps per hour, 
and you uh, put it on this at 22 amps divide 6 by 22 and times the number of minutes 60 it would dis it will discharge the battery completely in 16 minutes so um, that's a lot of power to get rid of even with these high power fans this case is getting pretty hot I should have built it into a much bigger box uh, if you're going to dissipate for the whole discharge the whole battery however it's very useful for checking batteries which I'm more likely to use it for uh, to put a battery on load briefly and check the voltage um, if a battery is poor or got high internal resistance the voltage is going to drop badly whereas a good battery will keep the voltage up anyway I'll just show you it in operation um, and the uh, amps drawing I'll just connect it up I'll just put it on for a short burst just showing it in operation I've connected a clamp meter which will show you in amps and I've got a battery here which is um, fairly well charged I believe I've just uh, I'll just connect it up Hang on. okay uh, 22 amps showing 7.2 volts dropping to 7.1 plenty of um, heat coming out but we see this battery holds 7.1 at the moment which is and it's not dropping anymore which means it's um, internal resistance is good and it's holding about 22 amps to help uh, dissipate the heat I've um, bolted the case to this uh, metal uh, piece of metal I had and um, with some heat sink compound so it can transfer the heat to this because it's the surface area that dissipates um, the heat. Normally you'd have a lot of fins on a heat sink to give you surface area. But this is quite big and also it um, prevents people uh, grabbing hold of the thing or it falling on the floor. I've put some uh, feet on it so it's good. And then um, you can connect up I've been discharging this battery, it's already 6.9 amps will go down as the voltage goes down um, a 7.4 volt LiPo you shouldn't go below 6 volts because um, then it might get damaged and if you keep on flattening it it will probably be badly damaged at high current and or may swell up if you're unlucky so um, 6 volts is a safe max these batteries do get warm under these sort of amps, this old one especially. So um, it's nearly down to 6, 6.1, six, so I'll take it off now. And um, this is uh, going to be running much cooler now, um, as this will also dissipate the heat. I've screwed the box uh, to a metal uh, frame uh, to help with the heat dissipation I put some heat um, transfer underneath and um, also to stop people picking it up when it's still hot and uh, help, helps keep it stable on the table so people don't uh, mess around with it um, so I've got uh, one of my batteries a 6000 milliamp 90C uh, it's done one race so it's not fully charged so it's ideal for discharging um, I'm going to put it on and uh, run it down to 6 volts and uh, see how long it takes. So I've got a um, stopwatch here and uh, measure the temperatures and measure the amps. So we'll turn the ammeter on and um, we'll start this off and I'll start the stopwatch as well. And uh, the ambient temperature is about 19 degrees and then we can see what happens. So. Let's plug that in, start the stopwatch. Okay, it started off at 7.5 volts. Uh, it's drawing 23 amps initially. And um, the ambient temperature of the battery is uh, it's a bit cooler in here, 17 degrees. So I'll leave it running uh, on the stopwatch and check it in. Um, say five minutes and uh, and see what's how it gets on it's 
Coming up to five minutes. Uh, showing 7.2 volts. Still drawing 22 amps. Let's check the uh, ambient 18. Check the battery. It's 22 degrees. I think the wires are getting hot now. Um, and the the box I know is going to be hot. Ooh. Behind the resistors where it's screwed on, it's over 100 degrees C. Uh, plenty of hot air coming out. So um, let it run for a bit longer. Coming up to 10 minutes. Uh, voltage has dropped to 6.8, still drawing about 21 amps. And the temperature of the battery is now 30 degrees C. And the voltage is beginning to fall, so it must be getting near the end of the charge at uh, yeah, 10 minutes. 20 amps, you can see it falling, and the voltage is beginning to fall. Uh, the indication that the current's dropping means that it's um, getting to the end. Here it comes 6.2, 6.1, and I'll disconnect. Uh, 10 and a half minutes. So, um, temperature of this thing is uh, 114 degrees on the back of there but the rest of um, the rest of it is not too bad 40 odd in fact the top is um, only 50 something where it's uh... so the battery as I said was 30 it's gone up to 32 as the heat soaks out of the battery how does it feel it just feels warm but I'm sure that will give it a lot more performance if that was charged up and used. So it took just over 10 minutes, so not too long to sit there with your battery. And then uh, you can put it straight on charge or um, or just before your race, uh, do it so the battery is warm. Anyway, it's a good test if I wanted to test another battery and uh, see if it lasted as long or you can compare them. But um, it's uh, can be useful. I, I'm not sure. I'll, I won't use it very much, but I might test the battery with it. Measure the internal resistance. This is the one that I've just discharged, and it's still quite warm. It's reading 1.7. This is one I discharged earlier, and is now cold. So let's just compare them. In there, in that in there. It's reading 2.4. So um, it's lowered the internal resistance quite a lot. So um, that will actually perform better uh, when you go out to a race. 